news. I'm feeling a lot like Anthony Padilla right now. There is a whole new generation of kids joining the furry fandom. And a lot of people's first exposure to the furry fandom are on the internet. Now there is a whole new platform filled with all kinds of unique and talented furries on TikTok that are showing this whole new generation how awesome and creative the furry fandom is. In this video, I interviewed just four out of the thousands of furries on TikTok in order to find out more about them and their roles that they play in the fandom. So stay tuned to learn about these possum furries. Hi, girls! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love him. Oh, hi, Oakley! 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They gave me extra chicken nuggets? <laughs> Good to have you on here. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, Brick. Hi. Hello. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming on. No worries. Got to be here. <laughs> Hi, Fanon. Thank you for coming. Hello. Hi. <laughs> nice having you here thank you so much for coming on basically can you describe to me like what do you do on tiktok well i am a comedy creator i'm comedy <laughs> content in and out of suit dumb videos <laughs> dumb sounds in a fursuit and that's basically it perfect <laughs> that's I mean, all i really do silly videos i sometimes make informative videos uh but for the most part it's very very silly uh but i just make it for fun and Cracking jokes and hopefully that makes, you know, other people laugh. I make goofy videos that are mostly just voiceovers. <laughs> but I, I, I try to be funny all the time. And what made you like want to start doing TikTok? So I was bored and I had just finished making my suit and I thought, what can I do with my suit? Like I've just got it sitting in my room, not doing anything. And I thought, TikTok's a thing. So I downloaded it on a whim posted my first video uh, and it got around 5,000 views I think oh, to start wow. off with and I was like okay this is cool. I was definitely interested in it a little bit before I actually started a post but what really got me into it was uh, going to a local furry meet and one of the furries that I met there said you should really think about TikTok and posting content on TikTok and you're silly and goofy, you should totally do it. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I think I think I should. And then <laughs> the rest <laughs> is history. Well, uh, I got my first suit March 2020. Right at the tail end of March. It was two days mm -hmm. before lockdown. Uh -huh. That's when I got my first suit. So I couldn't have taken them out to conventions. Conventions were closing and canceling for the year. And I needed some way to show him off. So Twitter was okay, but I thought, hey, let's try this new TikTok thing. Quarantine kind of had a play in it. I <laughs> was very bored and I had a lot of free time on my hands. But uh, also I've always wanted to be a content creator since I was in middle school and I've always had fun making little videos. So when I got Goose, I made a TikTok and here we are now. I feel like COVID made a, made everyone really like, you know, do a lot of uh, things on the internet now, especially like just making videos because it was almost like a way for us to interact with like our friends now just because it was the only way for us to like see each other. I definitely felt like I had just all this creative energy that I wanted to put into something. <laughs> so I, <laughs> like, I, I just expressed it. I must release my creativity now. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's on bursting at the seams. I must make cursed content on the internet. <laughs> so how long have you been making videos? Um, I want to say now we're going about three years that I've been posting on oh, TikTok. So yeah, yep, about three years. Yep, three 
three amazing years. It really <laughs> has been just an insane blessing in my life and, and an awesome outlet that I've been able to invest more and more into. And so it's just so, it's such an exciting adventure for me that I am just so happy to be a part of and to keep going with. How many year, years ago did you start? Uh, actually quite recently, uh, November 2020, I think. So oh, wow. I've been so, doing it for that one. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's basically, I think, how, how long I've been on. <laughs> on the 30th, I'll have been making videos for a whole year. A whole year? Woo! Oh, yes! That's awesome. I mean, I can do yes. that a long time. <laughs> how did you become a furry? I was a furry when it all started back in 1991. Yes, I'm a gray muzzle. <laughs> so I was there from the beginning. But I was kind of in the background of the fandom. Um, my career is I'm a professional uh, 2D animator. Oh, wow. And I make cartoons for feature films and television. And furry fandom back in the early 90s, beginning of the 2000s, was not exactly the most positive thing for an animation career. So it wasn't until 2020 when I finally decided to make the leap and actually get a fursuit. So, yeah, he's my first one, and that's when I started, and that's when the world shut down. Oh, man. Oh, no. So you do consider the suit that you're wearing right now, is that your fursona? Oh, yes, for sure, yeah. Hey, Dino. May <laughs> I get your best Fortnite dance? Uh, um... I'm trying to think, what are all the ones on there? Uh, I cannot floss. You like, can't this floss? Is, this what is the is most that? of That's what I can do. How about, how about Dino? How about you give me your best TikTok dance? Could be anything. Oh gosh. Oh, there's so many. Okay, uh, I don't know if you know the YRN song. YRN. Or, this is gonna sound awful, but it's like, Ray, ah, and you and da 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 da. Yeah, can I get that with that? Uh, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this suit was my uh, dream suit. And when I was 16, he went up for sale and he was made by Navy Workshop. And I saw the post and I was like, oh my gosh, I want it so bad, but I'd never be able to afford a suit at the time. I had a really, I had my first suit at the time but this was a really fancy suit and I didn't think I would ever have it. <laughs> and then two years later, I ended up seeing him in the back of like the Instagram for a suit for sale hashtags. And I was like, oh my God, I happen to be in search for a person. I need it. Do you have a persona? I do. So my persona is Oakley. Now this is not Oakley. This is Oakley right here. Uh, uh, he I'm is Oakley. my persona. <laughs> I love him to death. He's the one that started it all. And this is Dino. Uh, she is just a character of mine. Uh, but truly, my persona, all that credit goes to him. Like, <laughs> I, I still Oakley. love... Oh, I love Oakley. And I love Dino, too. It's like, it's like loving children, but for two different reasons. <laughs> what is the best part about making videos? I really just enjoy the reactions I get from people, especially the uh, the duets. Oh yeah. Usually, doing duets with other fursuiters are so much fun to me because I've been in isolation since March of last year, so I haven't been out to see other fursuiters. I haven't been out to any conventions. Honestly, when I've done the video, put it out there, and then I get all comments and people just say oh this has made my day this has made me smile so much like just the enjoyment of other people looking at my content and just Aww. like it makes their day better and i'm just it's amazing really um it's definitely seeing the overall message or picture that i'm trying to portray so like if there's like a joke that i'm waiting for the end waiting for the punchline, those are the most fulfilling for me because it's like, ah, yes, like, perfect. This joke lands awesome. And I hope other people uh, receive that well as well. Uh, but just seeing it full circle and seeing it um, seeing it mesh well and flow well. And it's like, ah, this is perfect. Awesome. And it's funny. <laughs> Even better. Here's a serious question. 
Okay. Oh, I love serious you, yes, questions. Yes, you gotta get closer. Okay, okay. This is a very serious. Okay, hold on. Serious furry like question. For this one. <laughs> Maws, paws, <gasps> or tails? <laughs> Ma superiority. Maws? Ah, no! Betrayal! Teeth. Teeth. <laughs> I'm a Smilodon, of course. You're the smile. I mean, I might be biased because my name's Candy Paws, but like, pa <laughs> paws all the way. Maws, paws, or tails? Oh, see. I don't know. In all honesty, <laughs> tails, they uh -huh. wiggle and they're great. And there's all different sizes of tails. Paws, bappers, love them. Maws, mm, Eh. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I can't think of a solid, concrete answer for this. Uh, probably paws and tails, really. Yes! Like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Is there a certain routine that you do to get ready before doing a TikTok? very first thing I do when I do a TikTok is clean the lens on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I didn't even think about that. Snook is actually a very easy and quick suit to put on. So preparation is usually maybe about 10 minutes at, the, at most. So what I do is I make sure that I eat. Um, <laughs> that's very important that you eat before you yes, suit. Yes. Um, I make sure that I am very, very hydrated before I suit as well. Like I will sit there and just chug water until I feel like, hmm. I'm very satiated. Let's go. Let's do this. So I make sure that I'm hydrated before I do. Um, I set up my fans all in the studio just to make sure that I'm not going to overheat. And even uh, a lot of the times I'll do stretches before I fill. And it sounds ridiculous, but it helps a lot, especially if you're in a big suit like this one. It definitely <laughs> helps just do a few stretches in between just to make sure you're loose and limber and ready to go and that way you don't pull anything because right because your I neck go. sometimes gets stiff you know yeah i usually get a uh, glass of iced coffee and i go out and i do my chores and kind of just spend time with the horses uh -huh. and kind of just zen out <laughs> and then i come in put on my playlist and then i just sit for about an hour to 30 minutes just kind of looking through and finding audios and kind of planning out what I want to do. Uh -huh. and, and then I just put on a crap ton of deodorant, <laughs> get in the suit and film. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's usually how it is. Make sure my setup's clean and all that. Deodorant? Check. More deodorant? Check. Lots of deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> check again. <laughs> so before starting a TikTok, like how do you usually like prepare for it? So I make sure I've eaten. Make sure I've drunk plenty of water because you don't want to get heat stroke on one of these. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I set up my lighting. Usually it's set up normally. I use my ring light. So I'm using that now. I put on my suit. Annoyingly, it's difficult to put both paws on for me anyway. Uh, so I use. Wait, 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 wait. Stylus. Oh. What I do is I fold that over, put this paw on, put this paw on, and then try and like flick it so it goes up over the paw and it's incredibly annoying to do you can also use a stylus to use your phone obviously because you can't <laughs> press the screen with the paws now whenever uh people do comment on uh your videos is it like mostly like positive or kind of uh, it depends mostly it's positive because quite a lot of my followers see my videos but sometimes i get the odd video where it just like pushes it onto the wrong side of TikTok, but mm. the wrong side of TikTok. I do get a few hate comments, but I just block them, delete them if necessary, uh, laugh at them because some of them <laughs> are just funny at this point. I love my comment section and I love my supporters. That's what I call them, are my supporters. I love them to pieces and it's almost always just positive, uplifting and really hilarious comments sometimes. And <laughs> I will just have like, the worst day ever and then just go to the comment section just to check up on people see how they are and i will see the funniest thing and i will just be in tears just cry laughing in the background and uh, what kind of like hate comments do you usually like get is it overall i get like... a lot of hate comments <laughs> oh, um no. i 
my favorite thing to do is I'll do live streams, right? And okay. I'll just be dancing. They're my favorite. And then people lately especially have been rating my live streams. One of my live streams actually got up to like 10k viewers the other night. Oh, and wow. it was all haters. Oh, but mostly no, haters. just trolls. But in. I was just having so much fun and I just did not care about what they were saying. I was <laughs> dancing to some queen. They think that they're affecting me and they, they aren't, you know, and they shouldn't affect anyone. Do these haters not understand that they're actually like increasing like our reach and like... <laughs> <laughs> I apparently not. When I get those live streams, I, um, I'll take off my suit yeah. and they'll be like, Oh my god, there's a person under there. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, I did not what? know. <laughs> what if you were to give my viewers some advice on Hannah, how to handle a hate comment? Like, what would you, what would you say? Honestly, about? the best thing you can do in that sort of situation is just block them, delete it. If you respond <laughs> to it, it's more likely going to escalate and then other people might see the comment and then comment hate again. It'll just go into a massive situation. So the best thing to do is just block them and move on really mm -hmm. so also i'm super curious um have you revealed your face or do you do face reveals no i don't do face reveals and i don't really plan on it <laughs> keeping that face secret exactly just for my privacy it's all just for privacy stuff because i still have a job and that kind of thing so mm -hmm. um so do you reveal your face in your videos only in two videos that I've done it. And it was a, a big surprise because uh, I was not expecting the reaction that I got. I am a gray muzzle. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm 47. <laughs> I've been in the fandom since 1991. So I'm not a 20-something young man. <laughs> so, the reaction I was expecting was, ew, gross old man, get him off my screen. Mm -hmm. But what I got instead was this massive tidal wave of positivity and it, just this reaction of, oh my God, you're you're actually really cool looking. Aww, <laughs> I, think okay. it, I think it also helps that I look like Rob Zombie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to put a picture up to show y'all if you don't know who, <laughs> who that is, but you <laughs> definitely look like him. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Hey! Hello. Nice to meet you! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Got better hair than me! <laughs> it's halfway down my back! Oh my goodness! But yeah, this, this is what the, uh, this is why I went for the bunny ears kind of thing. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, you're right! I can see it! So, how do your parents feel about you being a furry and creating uh, TikTok content? They are so supportive. I Yay! couldn't ask for a better <laughs> support system. Um, my mom helped me get Goose. Aww. She helped me figure that out. She helped me name him. She filmed my unboxing for him. She cried when I got him. I oh, cried when I got him. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh my gosh, my yes. heart. They are completely supportive with it. They see it as a hobby, which is exactly what it is. Like it, That's all it is, just a hobby. My brother, uh, he thinks it's weird, obviously, <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know. Is he your older or younger brother? Younger. So, younger. Uh, <laughs> I have doesn't understand as much as me. <laughs> I have a younger brother, too, and he also thinks it's very weird, so. <laughs> yeah. What do your parents think about you doing TikToks, being a furry? Like, what do they think about all that? So interestingly, at first, they did not understand it at all. Like they had no understanding of it. And they were like, what? Uh, okay, <laughs> this is a little weird, but okay. And it just, as I grew and as time went on, and I would actually involve them more in like the behind the scenes stuff. And I'll say, hey, mom, or hey, dad, check out this new lighting gear I got today. Or hey, look at this thing I got. Or check out this video I spent a few hours on. And involving them more. They started to understand it more and now like they are like some of my they're like my biggest fans and they Aww. they love my videos and i will call them up sometimes just casually be like hey mom how was your day today and she'll be like oh i saw your video and then just start saying you know all the things that she loved about it and so <laughs> they really have been amazing supporters with me being a furry content creator. Yeah, okay, I do have a um, little fun thing, if you don't mind, a little surprise okay. here. Okay. Um, 
So if you were, and you can do this uh, without your head, with your head, whichever you want, but I, did, it with. I, I was curious if you were to make a TikTok with me right now using this sound. Yeah. Okay, how would you do that? Into the thick of it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I would do a leggies video. <laughs> I have good leggies. And we'd leggies and dance. Dance leggies. with the leggies. Dance with the, the leggies. Big leggies. Oh. I would I would I would have my full suit and I'd just go into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. So if there was a uh new furry that wanted to start TikTok, what's what advice would you give them? Uh, I would say try to be just yourself. Don't try to imitate somebody that made you laugh. Sure, be inspired by them, mm -hmm. but don't just copy them. Try and put your own spin on things. And, you know, show the world how much or everything that means to you about the fandom. Show that to the world. Share what makes the fandom special to you. Share it with the world. And don't really care. If, if, if you're upset or a little afraid of what the reaction might be, just don't care. <laughs> Do what is fun to you. And that's, that's what I've learned in my age. You know? Absolutely. And, you know, that's why I'm making more videos of that because a lot of people are surprised what sort of unique, interesting people from all backgrounds, all ages, from everywhere that are just furries. So really anyone can exactly. be a furry. So how would you, Fanook, tell my audience to subscribe to my channel? You want to subscribe? You better subscribe. You better. Oh no. You better do it. That's threatening. You better do it. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> the rabbit can be so threatening. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. <laughs> yeah. And one more thing, if you can tell, if you could tell my viewers to subscribe to my channel, how would Goose, how would he do it? I actually have a prop for this. <laughs> oh, you're prepared. Subscribe to Candy Candy Paws and or I will hope that both sides of your pillow are warm. Oh no. Subscribe. Is that a threat or a promise? It is very much a promise. <laughs> I'm on my way. Oh, How would your character tell my followers to subscribe to my channel? Hmm. So, like, ask, right. like, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to go all out. We're going to use the eyelids. Oh, the eyelids. The right, listen, all of you, you better subscribe to Candy Paws or else uh, your squish balls are mine and you'll have no cookies. Ha! Not the cookies! Stay not the subscribe me. Not the cookies. Ah. I'll take all of your cookies. You better subscribe. So how would your character Dino tell people who aren't subscribing me to subscribe? Go subscribe! Now! Go do it! You won't regret it, I promise! He's really cool and he's really sweet. Oh. Unintended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I, I cannot stop looking at you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Goose, for being on my channel. You were super sweet, super cute. I loved having you on here. Um, Thank you. Everyone, y'all need to go check out Goose's TikTok. Y'all go and follow her. I want y'all to comment on her videos. Go boop, 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 boop. Okay, you ready? Boop, 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 boop. That's five boops, okay? <laughs> That's five boops. Y'all need to go <laughs> and follow yeah. and follow Goose. For you guys watching, go and follow <laughs> Funuk on TikTok. You got it? Be I'd support. appreciate it. And thank you again so Please. much. Thank you again so much for coming on here. Uh, you were a pleasure and so much fun. Great, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Wolf Lake, thank you so much for being on here. It was so good to meet no you. <laughs> yeah, good to meet you too. I hope you're the best. And oh my gosh, guys, 
follow, follow Flick on TikTok. He's super awesome. It's 100k, you can see my face. 100k, <laughs> face reveal. <laughs> Thank you, bye Flick. Also, go follow Oakley on TikTok, all right? Information will be in the description below. <laughs> all right, would you like to say goodbye to everyone, Oakley? Or do you know? <laughs> <laughs> bye everyone! Bye! Kenny says bye bye! Bye bye Oakley! <laughs>